So the mission's quite simple. Start off push north into the main compound at the top. Take out Bin Laden, dead or alive. Hopefully he'll be dead, fucking ragged. And it's as simple as that. Well, it's not quite as simple as that, as you'll know from my previous videos. The AI never tends to do what they're supposed to do. So here we are with our team. We've actually got a UAV support UAV on this mission. Online. And with the UAV and the slow, so flam, we can call in four Hellfire missiles. And we can also call in two big boom boom bombs. So really the advantage is to us, it's Dusk, coming in with our Special Forces Recon Team. Uh, and here we are, we're just going to push up forward. I've tried to get in, us into cover and I actually break the fire teams up into two teams a little bit later on, but as with all things with armour, the AI never really do what you tell them to do, so let's push on. I'm going to keep the video quite short. I've noticed a lot of videos uh, for armour 2 missions go on for half an hour and I'm sure people don't watch them all the way to the end, but this one has uh, some nice explosions, a few bombs and a few little um, a few little tactics that I'm using on the uh, fire team, splitting them up. So I'll keep the video short and sweet, but thanks for watching. Any comments you've got, leave them in the box below. Enjoy. This is actually an ace mission. <coughs> I don't just mean it's good, I mean it's actually one of the ace advanced combat environment missions. Uh, it's actually called Reaper 1 if you download. I may include the download if anybody wants this mission. It's quite a good one for co-op. Uh, a lot better when it's not with the AA obviously. Now this road to the north in front of us, every time I've played there's been an anti-air weapon right on the corner there and it's absolutely ripped us to shit. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this guy out with a bomb. Because I've noticed there has been a few infantry running around as well. So what we do for the bomb, we aim the Soflam and we call in the bomb. And we wait for it to drop and dead raggeds. As you can see, no more raggeds. Now what I can say is if you've got a 5.1 system, the explosions now on YouTube here are probably not really going to do it much justice. Uh, if you crank this bad boy up, that is a big explosion, believe me, especially on the bottom end. Uh, it's quite impressive. I'm actually running JS, JSRS sound pack. I've got a few other little bits in here as well. Blast God visuals, the usual suspects. There are a couple of times later on where I actually got shot and... I'm not kidding you, I had the volume up loud, it actually hurt my chest when I got shot, I don't know whether it was an instant shot of adrenaline or what it was, it actually felt like I'd been shot, <laughs> it was because my headphones were on loud, um, yeah, you definitely need to get the JRS sound packs in, definitely completely changes the feel of the game. Okay, so from here I'm just scouting, I'm actually going to send them up, up front, hopefully they'll get into cover, but you know what the AI like, I'll have to go up and sort them out anyway. The idea here was that there are a series of walls, these small walls that actually lead up almost into the main compound up this right wall. So the idea is, is that I move up one and then I move the AI up one and so forth and so forth. So we've actually bound up. What tends to happen is, is you tell the AI to go up, the first one will get there and then they'll just stand in a line and not do anything. Like for instance, we've got enemy over here, you would think the AI with the towels on their heads would actually take a pot shot us and it takes a while for our AI to actually look at them so I'm going to send them attack command here and see if we actually get some fire going from here on as uh, they're starting to engage now I've actually decided to run up front just to actually see what these um, my fire team are actually firing at because apart from the three on the left I don't really have a visual or anything here so keep using these walls and moving up for cover. Now I can see the enemy tracer fire here <coughs> so I'm going to check the wind with uh, left shift and K which is part of the ace mod that shows me the wind up at the left purple being really strong wind so I'm going to chuck this nade over there knowing that the smoke is going to travel in that direction that'll give some cover to the guys over to the left meaning hopefully they can push forward or come back towards me now, you have noticed I'm not actually playing that much in first person view, and I always play in first person view when I'm not actually the one in charge. If I'm having a 
to do with the AI, I need to have sexual awareness. And I sound geeky, like it's sexual awareness, it's not real army. Yeah, I know, I know, but within the game, I need to be able to see around. So, I can see he's over there, and it sounds like there's actually a couple, so I'm actually going to bring a hellfire in over here, and that's going to take care of business. I'm a little bit exposed, stood up, but hopefully the UAV will fly around it, get itself into position. Lay the missile impact, and that'll be no more there, and we can start to push forward a little bit. There we go. Job done. Time to start pushing forward now and breaking the fire teams up as we get further into the compound. All move to three. Eleven o'clock. Understood. Reloading. AGM missile is online. I repeat, AGM missile is online. One of the things I like about this map is that it starts off with sort of the upper the woodland. It then gets to these sort of sweeping slight hills with walls as you build up to the compound. And then as you get further in again, it breaks up into close quarters combat. So this map really does seem to have everything from long distance medium to close quarters fighting. So this part of the map, which uh, I think this is uh, Takistan, is it or is this generous? I actually can't remember. Takistan. Uh, hence the ragged. Um it's a great map and it's a good section for multiplayer as well as this is a PvP. It's quite an interesting map, really. Plenty of places for snipers and saw gunners, places like that to lay down some serious fire and rip it up. So, recommended if you want a map that's got everything, really. This is kind of. This has it all. Standing by. Fox truck. Golf. Hotel. Echo. Move to. Building. Two o'clock. Cover me! So here we are now, and I'm actually going to break the fire teams up into two now. I'm going to move the first fire team down onto the right hand side, and the other fire team I'm actually going to move to the back. And as you can see, the AI are just doing whatever they want to do, taking their own time. That's the plan anyway. You'll notice over to the right as I send the AI down, I actually notice somebody firing out of cover. I have a small alcove, so it's time to bring in the big stuff again. Obliterator. No point losing a fire team over something like that when we can call it in and get the job done. As you'll see, it's over to the right in a minute. Bravo. Charlie. Delta. Move to three. Ten o'clock. Enemy sold twelve o'clock. Hundred meters. Now here I actually sent four of the fire team I split them up onto this compound to check it out. Now I'm gonna call in the uh, airstrike. I'm gonna tell them all to go to this back wall Take on this compound no so that they're safe. But as usual <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to tell them all to go there. These guys on the left are taking cover. There's one guy left in the compound there just does not want to move, and I know he's not injured, but uh, the fact that he is me calling in an airstrike will soon make him shift his fucking ass. <laughs> For me it's just a matter of moving up now as we get closer into the main compound and basically getting our asses kicked. This is when the AI really start to, they just run around and they just seem to do what they want and you know, this is where you can't be playing these court missions with your friends, it's so much more immersive as well, especially when you lock the server into first person view, 
Um, it just seems really difficult to handle, and the whole idea was that I was going to take three of the fire team with me, send the other three to the other side, but they all just tend to run around in the middle of nowhere, and you know. It's a shame that the AI hasn't moved on a little bit. Even in um, Armour 3, they just seem to run around a little bit and do their own thing. But, you know, given time, we've got to remember we're on the Alpha. Um, as I said, this is the point coming up soon where I actually had my headphones on loud. And when I got shot, it literally nearly gave me a heart attack. So, JRS, RS, not JRS, not that Black Moolie flipping trendy band. No, not that shit. Uh, J S R S. Uh, hats off to you, mate, because you uh, almost made me shit my pants. Seems I didn't record the bit when my pants were filled with shabba due to uh, my head getting shot clean off my shoulders, and it made me jump like a motherfucker. So I know we're taking fire from down this direction somewhere, and I've actually lost quite a few guys, as you can see at the bottom. Team just running around, you know, telling the medic to heal people, just sort of goes over, has a look at them, says, nah, don't worry about them, mate. So I know we're taking fire from here, so I'm going to drop the big boom boom. Again, YouTube probably doesn't do the justice to the size and bang of this when you've got your volume on nice and loud. Anyway, if any of you are still with us, I know this has been quite a long video drawn out. Basically, we got our asses kicked, and that was due to the AI. It became quite frustrating, which is a pity because this is actually a really interesting mission. It's quite diverse, um, different aspects in close quarters, distance, and you know, bringing airstrikes is always cool, let's face it. So, anyway, this has been the mission called Reaper 1, and it's part of the Ace Pack, or the Ace Mod. So, if you install it, you'll actually have this already in your multiplayer link. Thanks for watching. This has been a little update on Armor 2. Playing Armour 3, finding it a little bit boring if I'm honest with you, ready for the next slot of stuff to come in. Uh, this has just been uh, another look at Armour 2, one of my all time favourite games. Find me on Steam as Para. Thanks for watching. More videos coming soon. Subscribe. Bye bye.